Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Butts, and this is Story Time. This is Bad News Report Card. Uh oh. <laughs> That's not good news. <laughs> okay. So, report card words. Excellent, good, satisfactory, needs improvement, listening, problem solving, imagination. So these are the words we'll be using. Isabel Bloom's class was going to give a report card soon. Isabel knew because Miss Bean was explaining the report card words. Isabel was absolutely sure her report card would be excellent. She imagined showing it to her family. They would shout, good news. That night, Isabel made a report card for her cat. Bad breath. <laughs> Washing, good. Sleeping, excellent. Listening, sometimes. Breath needs improvement. Bad breath is a pleasure to have around the house. Isabel Bloom. The next day, Isabel told Adam, I'm getting an excellent report card because I work very hard. I'm going to be a teacher like Miss Bean. I already know how to make report cards. Isabel said, Miss Bean, you're whispering, not listening. Uh-oh, God, Isabel, she wrote about not listening and forgot to put her name on that paper. I have a paper with no name on it, said Miss Bean. Remember, it doesn't count if you don't know who it's from. Isabel needs improvement, whispered Adam. Uh-oh. Isabel spied the pile of paper on Miss Bean's desk. I'll have Miss Bean know whose paper it is, she thought. She slipped her paper out of the pile and had her pencil ready. Isabel Bloom called Miss Bean. You look pink, said Adam. Isabel stuck out her tongue at Adam. Isabel, said Miss Bean. Very pink, said Adam. At the end of the day, Miss Bean handed out report cards. On the bus, Isabel stayed at her report card. It was sealed, her parents would have to sign it. It absolutely had to be a bad news report card. Report card, Isabel Bloom whispered instead of listen. We got to put name on paper, tried to take a paper from teacher's desk, made a face at Adam. Isabel absolutely needs improvement. Nancy Bean. No, Isabel loved her mom and papa too much to give them news like this. She had a problem to solve. The bad news of poor car disappeared behind the seat on her bus and got itself absolutely stuck. Isabel, you look pink. Do you feel all right, asked her mother. My report card disappeared, mumbled Isabel, as she turned pinker. Would you like to see Bad Breath's report card? I'll write a note to Miss Bean, said Isabel's papa. On the way to school, Isabel's papa note disappeared behind the seat on the bus and got itself absolutely stuck. You look pink, said Adam. At school, Mr. Tripp, the principal, made an announcement. Boys and girls, please remember to bring back your signed report cards. At home, Isabel's papa and mama wanted to know why Miss Bean didn't reply to the note. Isabel was miserable. On the way to school, Adam said, I got one excellent and two good. How was your report card? Isabel didn't know what to say, but she did know she still had a problem. And it was time to solve it for good. She reached by the seat to get her report card and her papa's note. She would give the note to Miss Bean. She would show the report card to her parents. But as well, report card wasn't set behind the seat or under it or anywhere else on the bus. Neither was her papa's note. Isabel imagined the worst. <laughs> Chip is waiting for us, said Miss Bean in the doorway. Isabel was pink. She couldn't think. She wanted to disappear like her report card. Isabel, your bus driver found your report card and this note stuck behind the seat, said Mr. Chip. Then Mr. Bean gave the note to Miss Bean and showed the report card to Isabel. This is not news you want to lose. All day, Isabel couldn't wait to bring her report card home. Mama, Papa, I've got news. Good news, shouted her mama. Good news, shouted her papa. Even bad news, but knew the news was good. <laughs> the end. Thank you.